Objective. I can talk about time zones. Exercise one. Check the meaning of the words in the box. Let's learn the vocabulary. Longitude. Distance measured in degrees east or west of the prime meridian. Prime meridian. The imaginary line that divides Earth into two equal parts. The prime meridian is zero degrees longitude. Greenwich Mean Time. The time at Greenwich, London, that world time zones are based on. Directions of the compass. North. South. West. East. Next, read the text about time zones. Time zones. Time zones help us know what time it is in different parts of the world. This is because when the Earth rotates, the sun shines on only one part of the Earth. So when it's the morning in your country, it's night time in another country. The Earth has got 24 time zones. The lines for each time zone go from north to south. These are called lines of longitude. The line on the map at 0 degrees longitude is called the prime meridian. This line goes through Greenwich in London. The time there is called Greenwich Mean Time, GMT. The Earth rotates 15 degrees of longitude every hour. 24 times 15 degrees equals 360 degrees. Places east of the prime meridian are ahead of GMT. For example, Istanbul is about 30 degrees east of the prime meridian, so the time there is GMT plus 2 hours. Places west of the prime meridian are behind GMT. For example, Rio is about 45 degrees west of the prime meridian, so the time there is GMT minus 3 hours. So, when it is 12 p.m. in London, it is 2 p.m. in Istanbul and 9 a.m. in Rio. To summarize, our Earth rotates. Therefore, when it is daytime in your country, it is nighttime in another country. In order to know the time for different countries, our Earth is divided into 24 time zones. So the straight lines you see here are called lines of longitude. The line at zero degrees longitude or the middle line that separates the Earth into two parts is called the prime meridian. As you can see, this line goes through Greenwich in London. So the time here is called Greenwich Mean Time or in short form GMT. We can calculate the time for different time zones based on GMT. Let's learn how to calculate the time. This is the world map. The yellow lines are lines of longitude. The red line in the center is the prime meridian. It goes through Greenwich in London. So the time here in London is called Greenwich Mean Time or GMT. To calculate the time, first, you have to know the location of your city on the map. Places east of the prime meridian, which means this part of the map, are ahead of GMT, which means you have to add the hours to GMT. For example, Istanbul is 30 degrees east of the prime meridian. So the time in Istanbul is GMT plus 2. We have to add 2 hours. If the time in London is 12 p.m., the time in Istanbul is 2 p.m. 
On the other hand, places west of the prime meridian, which means this part of the map, are behind GMT. We have to minus the hours. For example, Rio is 45 degrees west of the prime meridian. So the time in Rio is GMT minus 3. We have to minus 3 hours. If it is 12 p.m. in London, the time in Rio should be 9 a.m. GMT minus 3 hours and you will get 9 a.m. I hope you are able to understand this. Now, match the words to numbers 1 to 7 on the map. One, prime meridian. Two, Greenwich Mean Time. Three, North. Four, West. Five, East. Six, South. Seven, Longitude. Exercise 2. Read and listen to the text again and write true or false. Correct the false sentences. Time zones. Time zones help us know what time it is in different parts of the world. This is because when the Earth rotates, the sun shines on only one part of the Earth. So when it's the morning in your country, it's night time in another country. The Earth has got 24 time zones. The lines for each time zone go from north to south. These are called lines of longitude. The line on the map at 0 degrees longitude is called the prime meridian. This line goes through Greenwich in London. The time there is called Greenwich Mean Time, GMT. The Earth rotates 15 degrees of longitude every hour. 24 times 15 degrees equals 360 degrees. Places east of the prime meridian are ahead of GMT. For example, Istanbul is about 30 degrees east of the prime meridian, so the time there is GMT plus 2 hours. Places west of the prime meridian are behind GMT. For example, Rio is about 45 degrees west of the prime meridian, so the time there is GMT minus 3 hours. So, when it is 12 p.m. in London, it is 2 p.m. in Istanbul and 9 a.m. in Rio. One, lines of longitude go from east to west. It is false. The lines of longitude go from north to south. Two, the prime meridian is the name of a time zone. This is false. The prime meridian is the line on the map at zero degrees longitude. 3. Greenwich is a part of London. This is true. 4. The time in places west of the prime meridian is ahead of GMT. This is false. Places west of the prime meridian are behind GMT. Exercise 3. Look at the clocks and answer the questions. 1. In which countries are cities 1 to 6? London England New York The USA Madrid Spain Brasilia Brazil Brisbane Australia, Beijing, China. 
Two is New York ahead of or behind GMT. Based on the map, New York is located west of the Prime Meridian. So the answer is behind GMT. Three, how many hours ahead of GMT is Beijing? Here, we know that Beijing is ahead of GMT. That means when it is 9.30 a.m. in London, the time in Beijing is 5.30 p.m. To calculate the hours, you have to use 5.30 p.m. to minus 9.30 a.m. To make it easier to calculate, you can change the time to 24-hour clock format. 9.30 a.m. becomes 9.30, then 5.30 p.m. becomes 17.30. So we just minus 17.30 with 9.30 and you will get 8 hours. So the answer is, Beijing is 8 hours ahead of GMT. 4. How many hours behind GMT is Brasilia? Here, we know that Brasilia is behind GMT. That means the time is earlier than London. So if the time in London is 9.30 a.m., the time in Brasilia should be earlier, which is 6.30 a.m. So to calculate the hours, we just minus 9.30 a.m. with 6.30 a.m. And you will get 3 hours. So the answer is, Brasilia is 3 hours behind GMT. 5. If it's 12 p.m. in London, what time is it in Brisbane? So first, by looking at the map, we know that Brisbane is located at the east of the Prime Meridian, which means the time of Brisbane is ahead of GMT. So first, we have to know how many hours ahead of GMT is Brisbane. Based on the clock, when it is 9.30 a.m. in London, Brisbane should be 7.30 p.m. If we minus 7.30 p.m. with 9.30 a.m., we will get 10 hours. So here we know that Brisbane is 10 hours ahead of GMT. Now, let's look at the question. The question says, it is 12 p.m. in London. So, what will the time be in Brisbane? So, this is very easy. We only need to add 10 hours to 12 p.m. And you will get the answer, which is 10 p.m. 6. You are at New York at 9 p.m. Is it a good idea to call your friend in London? Why or why not? Based on question 2, we know that New York is behind GMT. That means, when it is 9.30 a.m. in London, the time in New York should be earlier, which is 5.30 a.m. We have to minus 9.30 a.m. with 5.30 a.m. And you will get 4 hours. So we know that New York is 4 hours behind GMT. Now if you look at the question, you are at New York at 9 p.m. What will the time be in London? Very easy. We only need to add 4 hours to 9 p.m. And you will get the answer. 1 a.m. Is it a good idea to call your friend in London at 1 a.m.? The answer is certainly no. 7. How many hours ahead of or behind GMT is your country? I would strongly recommend you to use this website and type in your country then you will know whether your country is ahead of or behind GMT. 
So here I type Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and the answer is plus 8. So I know that Malaysia is 8 hours ahead of GMT. If you see minus, that means your country is behind GMT. I will put the link in the description box. You may click the link and try it out yourself. Exercise 4. Use it. Work in pairs. Complete the table. Then ask and answer questions about the time in the different cities. To help you to complete the table, you may click the link in the description box to find out how many hours ahead of or behind GMT are the cities. Now check your answers. That is the end of the lesson. Do like and subscribe to see more lessons like this. Happy learning!